Nigerians should ask President Muhammad Buhari and his collaborator, <laughs> AGF Abubakar Malami, why they are still holding Mazin Namdi Kano. Only both of them can tell Nigerians what the problem is. Omoye like Shoari to Nigerians. Well, this is funny, but he just said he just said the truth. He just said that is just the fact. Both of them should tell Nigerians why they are holding him. Because the court of appeal have discharged and acquitted him. Abubakar Malami, they tell us, say, Namdi Kano was only discharged but not acquitted. Have you acquitted or not discharged? Me and all that, or the standard man self. Because he don't turn the constitution of Nigeria upside down. This is when you get, when you appoint people based on sentiment. You understand? Uh -huh. Abubakar Malami, now President Muhammad Wari in law. So, Nigerian affairs is now being discussed in the bedroom and they will come out and display whatever thing they have discussed in their bedroom. That is it. Yes. They are now fighting a family fight. AGF, Abubakar Malami, President Muhammad Buhari, what they are doing like, they are fighting a family fight. Because if they tell us that uh, Namdi Kano committed crime against the Nigerian government, and the same Nigerian court have discharged him. You know, why are you still keeping him? Why are you still keeping him? Why are you making, you know, matters so difficult for Nigerians? Because the way these things are going, we don't even understand this government anymore. What are they doing? What is the problem? <laughs> like Oshawari said, that only President Muhammad Buhari and the uh, AGF Abubakar Malami can tell Nigerians the problem between them and the uh, Namdi Kano. Because as it is now, Namdi Kano not get case with Nigeria. So the case is now between Fulani and Namdi Kano. It's a pity we found ourselves in this situation. A government that disobey its own law. And order that for you to know that there is a problem. You understand? The federal government of Nigeria they give reasons so they give reasons why it has the uh, it has not complied with the court of appeal judgment that ordered uh, Mazen of the Canos released. The federal government in an affidavit it filed in support of its application to stay the execution of the judgment described Kano as a flight risk person, insisting that the case against him borders on national security. Relying on the decided case law in Federal Republic of Nigeria, okay, versus uh, Asari Dokubo, the, the federal government urged that once a case touched on international security, the right of the individual affected take secondary place so the respondent is a flight risk person it is important to appreciate the gamut of dispositions in our application they said one of the grants of the application is that this matter touches on national security of the state they said we rely on the case of um, the federal government versus Asari de Kubo, where the Supreme Court held that where a national security is threatened or livelihood of aid being threatened, human rights take secondary place. So once there is a threat to national security, human rights of any individual can be suspended until such threat is taken care of. Once security of the nation is in, in jeopardy, the individual right may not even exist. <laughs> the federal government urged through its lawyer, Mr. David Casway, an assistant state counsel in the office of the Attorney General of the Federation. It further told the court that there is intelligence reports that releasing Nam the canon from detention would worsen the insecurity situation in the southeast region. 
However, Canon's lawyer, Chief Mike Uzeko Mersan, urged the appellate court to dismiss federal government's application, insisting that it was tantamount to seeking the stay of the liberty of a citizen. Did the appeal court listen? You see, with what happened in this Mazin and the Canon's case, I can as well say that the judiciary system in Nigeria had been compromised. The same appeal court that discharged and acquitted Mazin and the Canon. The same appeal court that still agrees uh, on the application to stay uh, the execution of the judgment of Mazin and the Canon. So the matter is just somehow. You are saying that Mazin and the Canon is, will be or is going to be or is a, a, a flight risk. And what they mean is that uh, once Mazin and the Kano is released, he will leave Nigeria. You understand? That Mazin and the Kano will run away from Nigeria and all that. So, Sina, what is going on in the Southeast today? Now that Mazin and the Kano has not been released, is he helping out issues? Is he helping out issues? Hmm? Is he helping out issues? Or oh, the matter is getting worse every now and then. In fact, these people, they have turned our country upside down. They have turned Nigerian constitution upside down. We are now being found in nowhere. This is really very bad. And this is a very good uh, 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 question that the, the, the federal government of Nigeria should tell Nigerians now why they are still holding Mazin and the Kano or why they are still holding Mazin and the Kano. Because they are the only one they know, that knows. A big court have, have, have discharged him. They, they have said he should go. But for the fathers, they are the one that knows the, the reason, not this one they are giving. Eh? They are the one that knows the reason. They should tell Nigerians why. I'm dropping it there, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you very much for always coming out here. May God bless you.